More than a billion dollars still missing after the brokerage firm MF Global went bust. And while former CEO John Corzine is still free from charges, 8,000 investors are out a whole lot of money. Here's what Corzine had to say when asked whether he'd use some of his own cash to pay back those clients. Take a listen. My question for you on behalf of these people who are largely small farmers, small businesses, co-ops all over the country, assuming that, uh, that they're not made whole, are you and other executives of your company willing to stand the loss with your personal fortunes and allow them to, to be compensated and made whole? Congressman. Um, Either yes or no, it's fairly simple. Um, Congressman, I don't, I don't think that this will go unresolved. Joining us now is the man leading the crusade to retrieve customer funds, the president of Hard Capital Management, Stanley Hard. Good morning, Stanley. Good morning. Nice, nice to be on with you. Nice to see you. You, you invested about $10 million of your own clients' funds and about $700,000 of your own funds. What does this mean now that uh, Senator Corzine is bundling more than half a million dollars for President Obama? What does that do for him? Uh, well, you know, I think that, uh, uh, first of all, my, my reaction when I saw the news on Friday uh, uh, was really that this is just another kind of brazen reminder of the cronyism and corruption which, which just permeates our whole financial system and political system and is doing damage to the economy. But I think actually from his point of view, he hasn't always been known as a very savvy trader. He lost a lot of money before being booted out of Goldman Sachs, and he obviously lost a lot of money on his European bond bets at MF Global. But for him, I think this is probably the best investment he's ever made. It seems to have earned him a get-out-of-jail-free card from the Obama administration. Yeah, on the one hand, I mean, it's a hypocrisy here, right? He loses all this other money, but he's able to somehow find money and raise it for President Obama. I have to ask you, though, you're leading this crusade to try to get back these investors' dollars that uh, Corzine and MF Global have lost. Where are you on that, and how exactly are you trying to get this money back? Okay, first of all, I'm part of a group which has really come together spontaneously. Actually, a lot of people that were that were competitors of each other. I'm not really the leader of the group. I've, I've been active in it. But, uh, you know, we're pursuing all avenues. We have representation in bankruptcy court, which is a big part of the problem now because the way the bankruptcy was structured makes it difficult for us, for customers who should have priority in these situations to recover our money. And uh, to, one job that I've had taken on for myself is trying to brief congressmen um, so that they can stay on it as well because the, the CFTC... Uh, which is the regulatory body of the government that should be looking out for us, and the Department of Justice uh, have largely been missing in action through this whole thing, which I think is, is itself a scandal and deserving of further investigation. Well, Fortunately, you know, we've, ha we've had some people help us, mainly from the House Financial Services Committee has stayed on the case, and we have a hearing coming up this Tuesday in the Senate, which uh, hopefully will make some progress as well. In our last 30 seconds, after the Bernie Madoff scandal, the federal government stepped in quickly and moved on it. Why don't we see movement with regard to Senator Corzine and really one of the biggest collapses we've ever seen in this country? Absolutely. Well, I mean, you know, you can draw your own conclusions. I don't have a smoking gun to give you here today, but the fact that Obama uh, has received millions of dollars of campaign money over the years, um, either from Corzine directly or bundled by him, uh, the fact that the Obama administration, apparently their campaign strategy, a cornerstone of it, is to paint the Republicans as being the corrupt fat cat Wall Streeters. Well, if it turns out that, that the biggest, most corrupt fat cat on Wall Street is none other than John Corzine, a prime supporter of Obama and major fundraiser, that kind of blows up their strategy a little yeah. bit and uh, may explain the reason they've been dragging their feet. Stanley Haar is the president of Haar Capital Management going after trying to get this money back in part. Stanley, good luck to you, and thanks for sharing your thoughts this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you very much.